How's it going everybody? So today I've got a 2019 ICCE with the 8.8 .8 liter gas motor. Um, this is one of a handful of demonstration units running around in the US right now. I happen to have my hands on one through the dealership that I'm with. Um, this bus was originally built as a diesel unit and then uh, converted to gas. Uh, actual gas production is supposed to start I think in March. So. Give you a quick look here it's pretty much standard i mean really you don't notice much of a difference you know it's got air brakes same gauge cluster uh, minus def obviously the trip miles i've gone 88 miles today but i've got uh, about 10,700 some miles on this bus uh, not all put on by me but nonetheless standard panel midship heater rear heaters driver defrost boost pump uh, heated mirrors Real nice to have right now. Uh, destination sign, school bus sign. Um, dome lights, these are LED in this particular bus, which I like. Got your master flasher, your cross gate cancel, noise suppressor, and then uh, dash air conditioning, which is a nice feature to have when it's hot. Although at the moment, um, not necessary. You've got your fans, pretty standard. One nice thing that this bus does have is a tilt telescoping steering wheel. It's got quite a range on it. Uh, it's a little weird to get used to. Uh, I've never driven bus a bus with that, so still kind of adjusting to it. Uh, standard door controls, which are upside down at the moment. Uh, right side, got your radio and then your dash air, obviously, and then your standard cruise control off-road, which is basically traction control, and the snooze no student button. Uh, what that is is uh, when you're shutting down the bus and you have to basically reset the child checkmate that, that kind of buys you a little time gives you about five minutes of snooze or maybe it's 20 I don't remember and uh, you know if you're in a school in a loading zone or something you don't want to get up and hit the button you can do it that way um, it's got a pretty cool right side handrail I haven't seen this design in any other bus but I like it it's nice down there there's something for the little ones to grab onto um, otherwise it's really pretty standard um, black seats in this one kind of cool they look really nice when they're clean but any bus driver in a snowy climate with salt will tell you that salt uh, is unkind to any dark color so yes it looks good now I don't know that I personally would order black seats just because um, you know it doesn't uh, doesn't hold up nicely as far as cleanliness goes uh, this bus is not hauled a student yet 10,700 miles on it never a student on board uh, it's just been kind of a demo bus for us to use. Um, I don't know if anybody's seen the new exit windows. They're, it's kind of hard to see here, but... Uh, nice design, much more robust than the old. This bus does have the new windows in it, which are great as well. Um, I think that's about all for the interior does have an exterior light monitor, which is a pretty cool feature that you don't see too often in this state anyway. If you, uh, you know, hit the hazard or the turn signal, it comes on. Same with your state lights, your brakes, turn, you know, all that stuff. Um, so I guess probably you want me to start it. So let me do that here. your 8.8 .8 liter gas powered CE bus. It's very quiet. I'm going to have plenty more videos coming of this bus. I've been taking videos for about two days now. Just got to go through and see which ones are worth it and which ones need to go in the trash bin so otherwise i think that's it stay tuned and i'll probably do an outside walk around in a little bit here <laughs> 